Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Beautiful day. Sun's up. There's no rain clouds. And it's 46 degrees here in Oklahoma. So welcome to the channel. Hey, today um, uh, I'm going to take you around the uh, homestead, uh, give you a little update, and uh, see what the goings on is. Uh, it's it's going to be a good day. We had a great Halloween. We did a trunk or treat over at the military base. We had like 1,200 kids come there. And if you get 1,200 kids around, guys, it was hectic. But great costumes, had a great time. I hope you had a good Halloween. I hope you guys got to spend time with your kids, your grandkids. Uh, you know, hype them up on sugar and send them home. That's what we do as grandparents, but guess what? Our grandkids never came here. They come every year. We're the last stop, but we just fill their bags up with candy. They haven't come. Big Mike was disappointed, but I'm sure we'll see him later. And I'm sure Terry will enjoy the uh, chocolate that's still left over. So guys, let's get started with this. Um, oh, wait, what is that? We got a delivery. They must have come late. What is this? I don't know what this is. Huh. Oh, wait. That must be the new hunting blind. Okay, guys. We're changing this up. Let's do an unboxing. Big Mike's got to see that new hunting blind. This is supposed to be a good one. I remember Terry and I talking about it. She ordered it for me. Um, it's one of those that looks camouflaged from the outside. But when you're inside, you don't see no camouflage at all. It's like you're just looking. There's nothing there. But they can't see you. So let's do this one. Let's take this out to the shop and uh, get this thing unboxed and set up and let's look see what it looks like hopefully it's everything it said it was on the advertisement so let's get this done guys let's get this done guys let's get out there and get busy how's that all right so like i said we changed up this whole uh i gotta get some stuff out the way i mean it is junky in here guys but hey we were going to do just a farm update, but then we I seen the box out the front uh, door. Uh, and we are going to uh, open this up and put it together. Or actually just unbox it and set it up. It is a hunting blind. So, oh, by the way, when I was at Pinecone Fest, Julie gave me this. It's a nice hunting knife. So, hunting blind, hunting knife. So, we're going to open this up. Ooh, that's sharp. Hope Big Mike don't cut himself. Let's get this done. There we go. Let's put this away. Oh, let me put it over here. In case I need it again. So. Now, don't pay no attention to this messy. Because when we unbox stuff, we burn our trash. And we stick it all over there. So that's why the mess is there. So, it's got a nice carrying case. It's actually not a nice one. Um, the canvas ones, I like those. This is like a polyester type thing, carrying case. We're going to open this. There we go. Oh, 
well the good thing is is it's not bulky and you can just fold it up so that's cool it's got a strap that goes around it and it is attached so it'll never be as tight as when you get it right um, what is this This must be the states. And one thing I hate, if you've ever been in a hunting blind, they give you these little metal stakes. And if you had a heavy wind, they ain't worth garbage. It gives you some tie down string right here with sliders on it. So we'll have to do something about that. I'll probably go and get regular uh, camping stakes because in Oklahoma, if you've ever been to Oklahoma, the wind is atrocious here. So, it, I did not see any instructions. So... So there's the top of it. And that should that's bulky. That's really bulky. Maybe I should have done this outside. There we go. There we go. Cut that up. There we go. Alright guys, have you seen that goat rope of me trying to put this thing up inside my shop? Big mistake. I mean big mistake. I didn't know it was that big. I tried to clear out an area because it's cold outside. All right, guys. And uh, I just wanted to unbox this, show you guys, but I should have done it outside. But hey, guys, I got it open. It is pretty roomy inside, okay? It's made for two hunters, okay? Um, but the reason I wanted this and the price point was just perfect, $129. And if you're a hunter out there and you bought blinds and stuff like that, $129, pretty good. It's a decent price. There's a lot higher ones, okay? Uh, but I've, I found this one, and it is from... Look at there, guys. I found the instructions. <laughs> After I try to put it up, but it's it's very common. All it has is it has pull straps, and you pull them, and that that braces it in place. It pops out. Um, and the same thing when you put it together, you just push them in. Uh, you fold it up, and then put it back into the back. Usually, when they go up, they stay up in a certain place unless you're going to keep moving. 
But yeah, hey, there's 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 the instructions, guys. Look at that. It even says setup. And guess what? On the back side, tear down. Why didn't I see this before I started putting it together and look like, you know, I was tore up from the floor up trying to get it popped out. But hey, once I figured it out, it just, I mean, the other ones just went perfect and it popped out. So that's what I, that's why I bought it. But this is a uh, for, uh, Fun Horm uh, Hunting Blind 360. And the reason I got this, guys, the only reason I got this is what I'm about to show you now, okay? Let's go, let's go inside of it. Okay, guys, do you see why I bought it? This is why I bought it. I know the, the lighting isn't great. See how you can see through the camouflage pattern all the way around you? And see all the dirty mess I have in my shop? That's why I bought it, okay? Not so I can just have a couple of things open and I can see through it and stuff like that. It's so I can see 360 degrees around me and I know the light's fluctuating because it's trying to get light. And then to hunt, see that? That's what it's all about, guys. These things just come down. They're on little sliders right here. Okay. So you can bring these down just like that. There's another one over here. And you can just bring them down or slide them back up. And they're all the way around this, guys. That's why I bought it. All right. So, guys. I took you inside of it. That's the reason I bought it. Um, the funny factor in this video was not planned. Me getting tore up inside there trying to get this up open for the first time. Everybody's going to go through it. So I might as well just leave it in the video, right? All right. So, because I'm normally, I don't hunt from a ground blind, but being 62, uh, and uh, wanting to be mobile and stay on the ground in this part of my life when I'm hunting, perfect ground blind, guys. You can pack it in, put it on the top of your uh, backpack or whatever, get in there, set it up, and you've got 360 degree uh, visual when you're hunting out there, okay, guys? Because nothing's more frustrating that you're sitting in there and you can only see where you want to shoot and you hear noise behind you, okay? That'll, that'll, sorry guys, piss off a hunter to no end, okay? And it may just be a squirrel out there trying to find a nut, but who knows? And you can pull those down on each side, okay, with those sliders and put it right back up that, that quick, okay? No zippers on that stuff, it's nice and quiet. So that's why I bought this one. Um, it's an unknown brand I just stumbled on. It's a new company. So guys, we'll put that down in the description on how you can get one. And for $129, absolutely love it for what, it's, what it costs, guys. And we don't have a lot of land here, but hey, I got a place to go. Just sit all day and just wait, okay? So guys, do your research. Find something that works for you. I'm not saying this is going to work for everybody. It's going to work for Big Mike, okay, guys? Put a comfortable chair in there. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to bring me some uh, uh, Cheetos and some drinks and stuff like that and just sit out there all day. Because everybody knows if you're out in the woods, it's nice and peace and calm, and you're having just a relaxing time, it puts years on your life. So guys, I, here's, I've been hunting since I was in my teens. 
And I've found that making life easier for you, because you know Big Mike ain't going to get a climbing stand and climb up trees anymore. Ain't going to happen, guys. So, guys, make it easy on yourself, especially us old codgers, okay? Us old codgers need things nice and easy, all right? We're not like the flip-flop farmer. He'll go down into ca canyons and rocks and all kinds of stuff. Shout out, Gillum Farms, okay? And we don't have 41.36 acres like we do over at Country Road Cure. Shout out to them. Hey, you see how I did that? You know, I shouted out the family, our family in Oklahoma, our family over in Arkansas, in one video. So if you haven't subscribed to both of those channels, go there and check them out, okay? Especially, uh, well, no, both of them, not especially. Check them both out, guys. Hey, I had fun, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, be kind to one another. Help somebody in need and always, always thank a vet. Now, this vet is going to take this blind out back and set it up. But here's the secret. I've, got, I've come into some wood at my recycle yard, and I'm going to build a stand out here. It's going to probably be 10 foot off the ground. And I'm making it so this blind... I can put it up on top and attach it to the top of it on the platform. So it'll be four stands, crisscross bracing, a ladder put on it. I'm going to build a deck on top of that. And then this will fit on top of that deck. Okay? Because I was looking at those tripod stands and those all at $400, $500. I can go get a load of wood for about $34 and I can build this thing. You know Big Mike can build, right? All right, guys. Be good. Have a great weekend. So we love you guys. And until our next video, God bless you. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.